let me set this up for everyone. Um, so it was long weekend, May, uh, long weekend of last year when we had the major storm. Uh, tore through our, our place, lost power. After power came on, realized that our hot water tank blew up. Now, my house is 20 years old. Uh, my house uh, is actually heated by hot water. So it's a, it's a radiant heating. And because it was also 20 years ago, everything's out of code. So in order to find the right hot water uh, tank, I use one of those instant water hotter heaters. Uh, and then having to rerun all the piping, copper last year was expensive uh, because of uh, supply chain issues. My bill was about uh, 10000 plus HST, so it was $11,300. So right away, I thought to myself, I'm going to pull the money out of my tax-free savings account to pay off the the $11,300 bill. And then I thought, maybe I should find out if there's some financing options. So of course I asked the question and they said, absolutely. We would love to offer you financing. You can amortize this over 15 years and it's 10% per year for the next 15 years. And I thought, whoa, that just doesn't make sense to me. Like, why would I pay 10% in interest costs over 15 years? That's crazy. But then I remembered, this is what I put my clients through every single time these situations come up. So uh, I walked myself through this same process. So I'm going to use this calculator. And the first thing we're going to do here is I'm going to change the time frame. So we're going to move it to 15 years. And in terms of the amount that I would borrow, 11,300, and I'm putting in at 10%. And my monthly payment's about $120 a month. So you can see it here as well. My total interest cost, if I did this over 15 years, was $10,557. So basically double. I would have doubled my cost for this hot water tank if I tacked on the interest expense. And again, right away, most people would look at this as I did myself personally and say, why would I pay 10,000 in interest costs. I'll just take the money out of my TFSA account. But then what we do, and again, this is the benefit of having these tools is I looked at, well, if I left my $11,300 in my tax-free savings account, and I'm averaging over 15 years, about 7% per year, well, my 11,300 would grow to a value of about 32,000 $193. So I would have actually made close to $21,000 over the same 15 year period. So if you look at this example, it's actually costing me more if I took money out of my TFSA because I would have missed out on making $21,000 instead of financing it over the 15 year period it would only cost me 10. So basically I'm $10,000 better off if I just take out the loan and I pay the 10% and keep my money where it is. So then you, then you start looking at, well, what if I'm only earning 5% on my money? Still up 12,585. Uh, so I'm still up by a couple of thousand dollars, let's say. So I think the break even in this scenario is about 4.5%. Oh, that didn't work. 4.5. We're not making any payments to that. Yeah. So about four, as long if I'm earning at minimum 4.5% on my money over the next 15 years, I break even in, in either scenario. And then people will say, well, why is that? You know, because that's more than half of the, the cost to, to borrow. And it's because of compounding, the compounding effect. Mm-hmm. We're now compounding at 11,300 over that 15 year period of time. So in looking at this as an example, I'm just gonna stop sharing here for a second. In looking at that as an example, in looking at things from a different point of view, I would say that if I sat down with a client who presented me with this case, 99% of them, if not more, would have said, I'm just going to pay it off, take the money out of my account because I don't want to pay $10,000 in costs because mm-hmm. they never would have considered the lost opportunity 
in that decision on the money that they actually have had invested.